Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you on this uh, daily UPSM series. And fifteen fifteenth of October, uh, this uh, date is, and uh, we are discussing current affairs and static version questions, and uh, revising the Hindu newspaper, the Indian Express newspaper, PIB data, and other important issues. And they are extremely important. Keep your consistency. Follow both the lessons, morning and evening lessons, both. And paid courses are available at just one fifty nine rupees per month. Very important courses these are, and uh, these are very affordable ones. And uh, maximum advantage you can take here on the platform. Pocket News app is trending on Google Play. You can download that. Regarding these courses, the descriptions are given below the video, and you can call on these numbers. The chat section is also available here. And uh, regarding the payment query, regarding any of the uh, problems if you face uh, in joining uh, the premium courses and all, then uh, you can call on these numbers. And the chat section is given. PDF you will get here on this Telegram channel, which is given here on this uh, Facebook group. You can send me a request there, and you can follow me on Instagram too. First question: Swaraj's Rex Bank price, and as I told you in the morning session, it is also called the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences. So, is it given only for pure economic sciences? First of all, it can be given in social sciences, political sciences also, but. the subject and the issue must be very much relevant to the economics area so that's the issue and it is not the first prize which was uh, uh, included in the will of alfred nobel in 1895 he mentioned other prizes like the peace prize uh, uh, and the physics chemistry all these prizes but the nobel prize for economic sciences was not there because the money was actually given by the Swedish Central Bank to the Nobel Found by Foundation in 1968. So it was established in 1968. Other awards they were established in 1900. And uh, Swedish Riksbank is the name of Swedish Central Bank. So, so it is named after the Central Bank there. Okay. So D N is the answer. Both the statements are wrong here. You can see the details here in the Economic Sciences in the Memory of Alfred Nobel. So that's why it is called Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences. Memorial Prize, remember that. And in the field of economics, but could award it in other fields of social sciences like political science, psychology, sociology also. But these should be economic issues. And it was established in 1968. The money was given as a donation uh, from Swedish Central Bank to the Nobel Foundation. And it was not technically a Nobel Prize. because it was not in the uh, original uh, will of alfred nobel there these are the important details others are also given here please go through the text next issue catalonia today it was there in the news the catalonian catalonian leaders they are charged for sedition and they are given a verdict by the supreme court there for all these misuses of the funds and the sedition charges so is it a autonomous community on the north eastern corner of portugal no it is the north east region of spain the area is spain and catalonia is the official part of spain there there was a movement independence movement and they declared their independence from spain but that was crushed and uh, uh, by force the senate of spain that declared that uh, the charges must be put there on these leaders and who wanted this independence issue and uh, the sedition charge is put upon them now they are given jail term 10 years jail, jail term there balkan peninsula is actually on the south east part of the europe this part is the south west part and here it is the iberian peninsula okay so this is wrong first is wrong second is wrong d n is the right answer here i will show you the map but before that uh, the capital and the largest city of catalonia is barcelona it's a autonomous community and designated as a nationality by the statute of autonomy there because uh, it's a unique part and uh, it was autonomous they have they had their own government also but now that's all uh, cancelled an issue and uh, you can see the map here the europe's map it is europe this is iberian peninsula including spain portugal and Catalonia and this is small Andorra here. This is this is France. Okay, and uh, this is uh, Balkan Peninsula here in this region. This is Europe, and you you can see the map of uh, uh, Spain here. This is uh, Africa below Spain here. This is Mediterranean 
C and this is Gibraltar Strait. So Spain and this is Morocco, the country in uh, African continent. So you can see this is Gibraltar Strait here. That's a simple issue. So all the important bodies, water bodies and the peninsulas and other issues, they uh, uh, must be very, very uh, clear to you. As I told you, Iberian Peninsula, Balkan Peninsula, this is Scandinavian Peninsula, where Norway, Sweden and Finland, these countries are located. So you can see the detail here on 27th of October 2017, the Catalan Parliament declared independence from Spain following a disputed referendum. And the Spanish Senate then voted in favor of enforcing direct rule by removing the entire Catalan government and calling a snap election for 21st of December. And after that, this verdict has come and they are given a jail term now, all the leaders of Catalonia. So uh, this is the world map, Europe's map. Uh, this is Spain and the Andorra I was talking about. This is, this is one of the smallest uh, countries there in Europe, Andorra. They may ask you about that and the Iberian Peninsula here. Next cataract. This issue we discussed in the morning session. Again, I'm uh, uh, revising it. Cataract is an age related disease. For sure, it is a disease, but it is not correct that it affects only aged people. No, it can affect any age group. There can be multiple regions like diabetes is the reason, age is the reason, radiation is the reason and congenital diseases are the region some kind of uh, infections are also the reasons so this is wrong second cataract surgery was first described by indian physician susrut in 5th century bce in his manuscript susrut sahita this is really an interesting fact first surgery for cataract was done in india and he mentioned there uh, uh, regarding the hygiene and the uh, warm butter uh, uh, coverage of the eye all these things were mentioned there and this surgery was done in india so second is correct only two is the right answer here you can see this issue was mentioned here a half of the people who are blind they are blind because of cataract and above 50 age people they uh, they are highly uh, vulnerable for that and with the age the eye lens its protein gets degenerated and yellow brownish pigments they appear there or uh, th there can be a cloudiness in the eye lens there by making a diagram I, men I mentioned this issue uh, this is cornea and this is the lens there attached with the muscles and this lens actually gets degenerated it's made up of protein and that protein gets denatured de de with the age so that can be the very common reason for that so in this age group 93 percent of the blindness cases are due to cataract means above 50 so that's the issue and these are all mentioned there so local and financial constraints are also there the low the uh, the low income countries are mostly affected by this disease but uh, uh, the developed countries aged people they also are affected okay so you can see the eye looks like that because the lens behind the cornea that gets denatured and the cloudiness appears and that's why it does not look, look like complete dark otherwise you look into the eye it looks complete dark but due to cataract it looks like that so you can see here due to the rubella syndrome the kid is also affected with the cataract issue diabetes smoking tobacco there can be additional reasons exposure to sunlight and alcohol these can also be the reason regarding social the, the description is given here next saras ajivika mela saras ajivika mela is it an initiative by ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship no actually with the support of uh, din dayal antyodaya yojana and the rural uh, livelihood mission nrlm self-help groups they are coming on a platform and this platform is organized by this uh, ministry of rural development and they showcase their skills handicrafts and other products and uh, they are uh, linked with the buyers market there so second statement is correct first is wrong it is by ministry of rural development because the dindyal antyode yojana comes under ministry of rural development as actually the uh, rural component of it nrlm that comes under ministry of rural development Dindyal and Yojana has two components, rural and urban component. So here the details are given, MORD organizing this event and uh, uh, the self-help groups. For that, the Saras Ajivika Mela was organized uh, with the help of DAY NRLM. And uh, there is a marketing arm of the Ministry of Rural Development that is called CAPARAT. CAPARAT Kepa means uh, Council of Advancement of People's Action and Rural Technology. So they have organized it and the 
reason that it is a marketing arm that's why these self help groups they are showcasing their skills to the buyers market there so handicrafts handlooms uh, uh, nature food natural food products and food courts everything is mentioned here now this page is the most important page today a lot of details are important upsc will ask these uh, uh, these uh, uh, geographical identity based questions like kalamkari was asked in 2015 kalamkari uh, uh, art is there from andhra pradesh on the cotton cotton uh, 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 fabric uh, this is done with the natural vegetable colors and other kosa sarees from chatisgarh tasar silk from jharkhand elkal sarees from karnataka chanderi sarees bag prints from madhya pradesh paithani from maharashtra tasar and banda sarees from odisha kanjipuram from tamil nadu pochampalli from telangana and uh, pashmina from uttarakhand and kashmir also kacha silk sarees batik print these are from uh, west bengal and other areas so these are unique identities for these areas so upsc focuses on them a lot these are the groups of sarees specific sarees the chanderi saree was asked in the 17 prelims examination okay bag prints were asked in uh, uh, 15 uh, uh, year i think and dress material apparel here the mekla chadar from assam ba, uh, bharat gunthan and patchwork from gujarat other ilkal kurtis from karnataka ilkal sarees were also from karnataka and other issues are also given so these are extremely important all are according to their respective regions and their respective categories you must remember means the uh, the issues you must remember like the categories if it is a sari or it is a dress material or it is some handicraft there so do not get confused uh, between them next issue joint military exercise dharma guardian a very simple question and we all know about that that was mentioned in the newspaper and in the pib data indian army and japan's uh, forces it is their joint military exercise it's actually a annual training program and that is going on since 2018 so this is happening in india and uh, jungle warfare school wearing it where it is uh, uh, being conducted from uh, 19th october to 2nd of november it will be conducted okay next issue chikuma river chikuma river is it there in uh, philippines no this is wrong it is there in japan the issue of uh, typhoon hagibis is going on and uh, hundreds of people they are dead by now according according to many many reports and japan is a very developed country but uh, the nature disaster is so uh, uh, humongous that uh, the, there is nothing that we can do about that and all the rivers they are uh, swollen and they have captured all the areas there so chikuma is there in japan and hagibis is actually a typhoon it is not a cyclone remember that so this second statement will be wrong here first is also wrong d9 is the right answer you can see these are the rivers and uh, uh, this is the longest and widest uh, river there in japan it is also called shinano river and chikuma we also call it so uh, it is the different difference of some regions there that's why and japan is made up of four important islands honshu hokkaido these are important uh, islands there all are devastated because of the super typhoon hagibis so hagibis means speed in the filipino language but uh, the river is there in japan next one important detail here hurricane is a storm that occurs in atlantic ocean and uh, north eastern pacific ocean Although the, although the process remains same for all these uh, issues like hurricane, cyclone, typhoon, all are same things. But the names they differ according to their origin. So hurricane uh, its origin in Atlantic Ocean and Northeastern Pacific, typhoon in Northwestern Pacific, cyclone in South Pacific and Indian Ocean, and willy willy in the southwestern part of Australia. So that's the case. Next issue: the first ever international cooperative trade fair (IICTF). was it organized in varanasi no it was new delhi mr narendra tomar the union minister of agriculture he uh, uh, actually uh, uh, inaugurated this event first time international cooperative trade fair cooperatives are the major income booster for farmers and uh, one of the most important issues for that ncdc uh, which is under uh, minister of agriculture only that has organized that with apeda and nafed okay APEDA is Agriculture Produce Export Development Agency. That's why it comes under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. 
एंड नेफेड इज अ सेपरेट ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेकेंड इज करेक्ट फर्स्ट इज रॉन्ग ओनली टू इज द राइट आंसर हियर यू कैन सी एन सी डी सी वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाई अ पर्टिकुलर एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री एंड नेफेड इट्स अ कोऑपरेटिव मार्केटिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इस्टैब्लिश इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एट अंडर मल्टी स्टेट and APEDA under Ministry of Commerce and Industry these are important and under, under APEDA there are scheduled product products and they can be all taken under the schedule list there so this is this is something uh, very important and uh, it is all about doubling the farmers income there so it will not happen without cooperatives development next annual ganges river dolphin census this census is being undertaken by uttar pradesh forest department for sure but not with iucn this is wrong it is a wwf world wildlife fund for nature and the indian branch of it so first is wrong second it's a blind fish yes it is but it it doesn't belong to the category of sharks because sharks are under the uh, pieces category and it's a mammal so it belongs to the same uh, class of humans so d n is the answer both the statements are wrong here you can see this is a blind animal it uh, uses eco location for navigation and hunting so that's important and uh, it is found in uh, ganges river and its tributary so india nepal bangladesh these are the areas where it is found I, and i'm talking about the indian ganges dolphin it's the national aquatic animal for india and it's a official animal for guwahati city okay that's important and it comes to the surface to breathe because it's a mammal it's not a fish and it makes some sound of susu so that's why it is also called susu another important dolphin is indus dolphin indus river which flows through pakistan so in that indus dolphin is found it's a subspecies of the same uh, dolphin there so that is called bulan there okay bulan and that's national mammal for pakistan these are important details okay and the official animal for indian city of guwahati is ganges river dolphin and india's national aquatic animal so that's really important and uh, uh, these are important details there so this is all for today we will meet again tomorrow thanks a lot keep watching it was a bit sunny